the ever living God. Monsignor Walter Rossi, rector of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, is under investigation by two different dioceses for homosexual misconduct. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive Rossi's us bishop, sins. Joseph Bambera of the Diocese of Scranton, Pennsylvania, recently announced the investigation, working jointly with newly installed Archbishop Wilton Gregory of the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C., only weeks after former papal nuncio, Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, confirmed he'd received complaints against Rossi of homosexual predation. You will celebrate the liturgy. And Rossi was handpicked by Theodore McCarrick to be rector of the famed D.C. Landmark Basilica, where he's often appeared with disgraced Cardinal Donald Wuerl to raise money for the shrine. The priest drives a Lexus to work and, up until recently, owned two condos, the first in the expensive resort town of Brigantine Beach on the Jersey Shore, which he sold earlier this year, and the second along Fort Lauderdale's Galt Ocean Mile, a prime piece of real estate, his condo estimated by realtors to be worth close to a million dollars. Rossi co-owns his Florida condo with fellow Scranton priest, Father Andrew Vozdovic, who sources say is Rossi's homosexual lover, and whom Rossi has known since his seminary days. Their condo is located in an area known as a hotbed for homosexuality. In spite of church militants' repeated requests, Rossi refuses to divulge information about his salary or benefits. Bad optics for someone whose predecessor at the shrine, Bishop Michael Bransfield was recently found guilty by the Vatican of misappropriating millions of dollars of diocesan funds to spend on a lavish homosexual lifestyle. Rossi is also linked to Father Matthew Riedlinger, who left the priesthood after a sexting scandal in 2013, caught sending more than a thousand sexually explicit text messages to someone he thought was a 16-year-old male. Riedlinger was a close associate of Rossi at the shrine, and Riedlinger's name even appears as a resident at Rossi's condo on Brigantine Beach. In spite of the cloud of scandal mushrooming around Rossi, DC's current archbishop has made clear he won't be removing him from active ministry anytime soon. The investigation has to begin with his bishop. Uh, that's just how things are done. Gregory comes with his own past, a notorious LGBT advocate whom the late sex abuse expert Richard Sipe publicly called out as homosexual. Revealed your glory to all the nations. If it's true, as Vigano says, that Rossi is a member of the corrupt gay mafia that and that this gay mafia protects its own, then Catholics can likely expect the current investigation to accomplish very little. Christine Niles, church militant, Detroit. Through Christ our